Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Wam Yasa Allah, Koholoyim La, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash, double honors to our apostles and to our elders, the great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to, to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, was checking out this article that caught my eye. And, you know, it kind of, I was doing, i done a lesson earlier today on Tom Brady and his wife. And how, you know, basically she wanted a divorce. So that made her the adulterer and that guy that she's dealing with an adulterer as well. Now, Tom Brady, he's in the clear if she's the one that really wanted to divorce it. Because, you know, here in America, there's nothing you can do about a woman wanting to leave you. <laughs> you can't just hold her down. You know what I'm saying? You can't just lock her in the damn house. You know, that's called kidnapping here. <laughs> they, they'll send your ass to jail for some nice amount of time. So a woman in America, in, in Babylon the Great, she can get up and leave at any hour that she wants to of the day, night. Go where she wants to go, come back when she wants to come back, and never have to come back if she don't want to. She can leave the damn kids with the husband, you know, and just take off and like, hey, and, and, and just never be seen again. So, and, and America is just backwards like that. So now when I came across this story, I'm like, well, hey, this could be somewhat of a part two. Because there was other scriptures that I didn't get. But this right here says, wife continues to care for husband after traumatic brain injury. And so does her new husband. See? So does her new husband. Now let's get off into it. I'm going to skip the, uh, you know, through a lot of this here. But basically he got into an accident. He got T-boned by a commercial truck. Um, he went into a coma. The brain injury was just, you know, was just that bad. You know, he came out of the coma, but, you know, the doctors had told the wife that, you know, hey, even if he comes out of this coma, he, you know, things are just not going to be the same because of, the, you know, the extent of the brain damage. But let's um get here. It says... I'm going to start right here. It's okay. So it says he needed um, around the clock care. He moved into a nursing care facility. Every morning. Now, this is what she's saying. Every morning I woke up and was hit by this train of sadness. He was my soulmate, my best friend, Armstrong says. I was grieving a living, I was grieving a living person. So clearly he's alive. And that was very complicated and isolating. Smith was 23 at the time. Of the accident and Armstrong was 24 she dreamed of having children when it became clear that Smith would never recover Armstrong made the heart-wrenching decisions to file for divorce so now she's divorcing him right so this is basically is going off into she's a damn adulterer because this guy's still alive it says I had a lot now check this out here's your Christians for you here's your white Jesus Christians right here it says, I had a lot of talks with God and I decided and I decided I was going to take care of Brandon until the day he died. Armstrong says when Armstrong filed papers to become Smith's legal guardian, the judge had some concerns. So basically, and you already know, if he got hit by a commercial truck, I'm sure there was a, a nice um, large settlement that was paid out. Whatever, whatever, you know. By her being the guardian, she's in control of that money. <laughs> you know, so who knows? I, I didn't go that far up into it. I'm not sure if that's what it's saying. But, you know, come on. Let's let's put two and two together. This is America, man. Okay, it says, um, Armstrong, uh, it says, when Armstrong filed papers to become Smith's legal guardian, the judge had some concerns. She asked me, what happens when you have a family of your own? Will you still be able to take care of this man? Armstrong recalls and I said yeah I'm not going anywhere so here you go you got your judge you got these judges they're supposedly the highest you know um mental mentally smart people in the world of course you know but they swear in on the bible they had people swearing on the bible and that judge should have been like hey well that's your husband you got to stick it out with him nope she didn't do that <laughs> she 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 granted the divorce right Okay, it says, um, Armstrong kept her word. She and her husband, James Armstrong, who have been married since 2015, 
C. Smith regularly. And so do the couple's three children. So what if this man has somewhat of a mental capacity where he's like, you know, when he sees it's like this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe because he's probably just screwed up to the point where he can't speak anymore, this, that, and the third. But still, there could be that inkling of thought or, or that inkling of some part of him still there that's looking at this bitch like, oh, man. <laughs> anyway, that's just me thinking as a man. Okay, it says, we bring Brandon to our house every week, and we take him out to restaurants. So basically, she, she, she's getting over, man. Because you know she, she, she probably got insurance money off of that shit. You know? I'm, I'm, something, it had to be some finances involved somewhere. So she just threw his ass in a home, divorced him, still his legal guardian, which means that she's in control of the finances still, and get with another dude. And this is America, man. This shit is not surprising. All that, this, he was my rock, my best friend. What am I going to do? <laughs> we know what you're going to do. You're going you're gonna to hop on the next rod. Amazing, man. Okay, it says, um, we bring Brandon to the house every week. We take him, to our, we take him out to restaurants. Look like they propped his ass up for this picture. Or are you going to do it this way? Like, this is just, boy, I tell you, America is just, boy, this place got to go. Uh, what makes it really beautiful is how much my family has accepted Brandon as a part of their family. James, 36, is especially close with his wife's former husband. In a TikTok video that has been seen more than 7 million times, James has shown lovingly spoon-feeding Smith breakfast at a diner and then transferring him from his wheelchair into a car. The first time James met Brandon, we went to church. There you go. Here's your Christians, man. Armstrong says, I got up to go to the bathroom. And when I came back, James' arm was around Brandon. In his wedding vows, James wrote that he would love and care for Brandon. And, asked, <laughs> and he has, Armstrong says, James helps in whatever ways he can. He never complains. He's never un uncomfortable. And I think that's a huge thing. Some of the stuff that comes out of Brandon's mouth is a little crazy and he can't toilet it on his own. But none of that bothers James. Armstrong says, well, hell, you, 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 you plowing his wife, you plowing his heifer, you should be able to help him out. <laughs> God damn, bro. Uh, Armstrong says her two daughters, her two young daughters fight over who gets to struggle on the couch with Uncle Brandon. So now he's Uncle Brandon. Boy, 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 boy. Let me keep it classy. These little girls adore him. My stepson, too. He comes with me to the nursing home, and he's getting Brandon drinks and hugging him. Armstrong says caring for Smith is an honor and that her love for him has only grown. Brandon's short-term memory is very poor, so he's remembering something then. So he's not anxious about tomorrow or regretful of yesterday, she tells Today.com. I've learned from him how to be more present even though he can't communicate well he's always teaching us things he makes life beautiful and april armstrong said a tiktok video of her interviewing james about his special relationship with smith he's our family member he's like one of our kids we love the same we love him the same a visible visibly emotional james said he's a he's a central part of our family he added he's a central part of our life all right well so if this guy just get up and just so happen to be like, you know what? I mean, I'm tired of this shit. I want a divorce. So what's going to happen then? You know, after he done made this vow to take care uh, uh, of this man. I tell you, man. Anyway, let's get to the scriptures. So many things to say. So many things to think about. Now, I, I thought about this with our, our foremother, Judith, right? This is Judith. And Judith was, was they, they said Judith was pretty beautiful, man. Said she was pretty bad, boy. <laughs> Judith was a baddie. Judith um, 16, verse 22. It says, And many desired her, but none knew her all the days of her life. After that, um, Manassas, her husband, was dead and was gathered to his people. So she never got married again. Though she was young, she was, you know, vibrant. She was beautiful. She could have had any man. Out. And, and, and basically, when you read the story, when they talked about how beautiful she was, like, man, she stopped wars. 
Motherfucker stopped fighting, man, to check her out. Matter of fact, um, they asked, like, some to the extent, roughly paraphrasing, why are we fighting against people that have women this beautiful? <laughs> some to that extent, you know, I'll be paraphrasing. But she didn't marry. And, and that's, you know, it's, it's a couple of accounts in the scriptures where, you know, it was just integrity back then. It was a lot more integrity back then. A hey, women can be well taken care of. Got them bought her the biggest ring, put on her finger, the biggest damn house. She 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 gets a, a fresh new car every year or two years, whenever. You know, going on the best vacations. He's taking her to the best restaurants. You know, you know, just everything. He's he's completely taking care of her, and she'll still go out and 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 and, and sleep with some other man on him in his place, man. I mean, it's it's this is America, though. Like I said, let me keep it classy. I have so many things to say, but I wanted to get this. Um, Mark chapter ten, verse twelve. It says, "And if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committed adultery." So this is exactly what's going on right here. She's she's committing adultery with the man looking at. I mean, like, like I said, it just think it says that he ha he has some memory. So what do you think he's feeling like while you and this other dude is hugged up right in front of in front of him? Hey, but that's judgment, though, man. I mean, can you think that now that that's that's hell? <laughs> that's the, that's a version of hell right there. Straight up. Well, you you were in a damn wheelchair on some Stephen Hawking shit, watching your woman get down, you know, or you know, then they just they dropping his ass off at the um at the nursing home, and, and he just you know knowing that this 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 motherfucker is doing my wife, man. It's amazing. Okay, so lock you. Going off into the law, but the point is that um, Romans 7 and 3. It says, so then if while her husband liveth, matter of fact, let me just start at the top. It says, know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband, so long as he liveth, liveth. but if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. See? And what did she, what did she say? I had a long talk with God. She all at church with the damn man. <laughs> And, 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 and I'm willing to bet you them, them, them Christians is like so understanding of this shit. Nobody brought up the scriptures like hey, you committing adultery. Have them silly ass vows talking about till death do you part. I'm willing she said that shit, man, when she got married. I'm willing to bet you she said that. She, she, she repeated those vows. Till death do you part. Nah, this man wasn't even dead. And you and you dumped him. Divorcing became his legal guardian. Like you just know that's got scam written all over it, man. Any woman that truly loved a man, and hey, she's just gonna be like, well, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to just, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, this is it. This is my husband. Hey, I gotta deal with it. Gotta deal with it. And it just is what it is. And sometimes it be that way. None of us know our lot. But hey, that's pretty damn wicked right there, though. You ask me. You know? <laughs> but I wanted to touch on that. Like I said, again, I had done this one earlier with the Tom Brady situation. And um, his wife, she, her wanting a divorce. After all that time they done been together, you got kids. 
And, and that's what I say about she's with one of the most famous men in the world. Got all the money that they need. Can live anywhere in the world that they want to go. You know? And she just, up, oh, up, oh, I wanted to Just not righteousness, man. This place has absolutely no righteousness at all, man. This place is 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 a damn cancer to the earth. Anyway, with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashala.